God rest his soul, Gene Franklin, he said, son, I think you ought to take a trip down to Austin and look around. And that was in 1978 and I hadn't left. And I'm just glad because uh, I'm still friends with Steve and Tim Campbell, my host, you know, Earl's little brothers, the twins. I landed in the right place. We are expected to compete at a top level. And because of those great expectations, we normally do. And there is the Texas defense showing itself right off the top. Kenneth Sims leading the charge. We all did one thing, we attacked. You're way ahead in the game if you know what to expect. It was hard to trick me. I prided myself on being a smart player because I believe dumb lose more than smart win. I think I jumped off sides one time in four years. That's winning football. Hit there by Mr. Sims. He can play for my team anytime. Yes, sir. You go out there with the rest of the guys, and that's what we play for. We play to go out there on Saturdays and it's showtime. A terror to opposing offenses, Sims racked up the accolades during his time at Texas. A two-time All-American, first ever Lombardi Trophy winner at Texas, and UPI Lineman of the Year, but one of his most memorable performances came against SMU during his senior season. We're number one in the nation the week before, and we get boat raced in Arkansas. So everybody thinks the best team money can buy, they're gonna run through Texas like doo-doo through a goose. And uh, we had a strong senior crowd, especially on defense. And we went out there and we shut them down. I think I sacked the quarterback four times. I made him cry like a baby, big, big, big crocodile tears. Because he had a guy that had been talking trash all week. He said I was a paper All-American. Sims in the Texas defense stifled SMU's offense and Heisman finalist Eric Dickerson as the Longhorns won 9-7. Sims' senior season was cut short due to injury, but his resume had him in line to be the top pick in the NFL draft. New England Patriots, first round selection, Ken Sims, defensive end, Texas. Sims is one of only two Longhorns to ever be selected number one overall in the NFL draft, joining Earl Campbell. And in 1985, he played in the Super Bowl against the Chicago Bears. But his proudest accomplishment as a pro came off the field, fighting for a player's right to free agency. Went on strike twice, but I'm happy for these kids because we had to go through it at that time to get to where we're at. We started way behind. And unfortunately in this country, people get discriminated against if they know the right people above them. And that's what happened. Football was treated unfairly for a long time until we went on strike twice. And uh, we got that right for them now, free agency in America, freedom in America. How about that? The College Football Hall of Fame was a long time coming for Sims, but well worth the wait. It's a culmination of a lot of hard work, three a days. They don't even have two a days anymore. But uh, the work was well worth it. Made lasting relationships. The University of Texas has been a blessing to me, and I hope I've been a blessing to uh, my coaches and administrators.